do not make the mistake of ignoring us. Praise the Dendru. Praise the Dendru! <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Kimchika's Cafe. Get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy an indie game. Today we're continuing in our journey, our strange journey in strange horticulture, where we are a horticulturalist, horticulturalist, uh, diving into some mysteries, unsolved, soon to be solved, hopefully, and um, just trying to clue and piece together what's going on in this strange little village of Undermere. Um, we have been diving into a few different scenarios and a few different um, sort of character arcs that I'm really excited are finally coming to fruition. So Faye Swift, we helped her out with some visions, and by helped I, we actually made them worse, but they, they illuminated some clues that I think have to do with the murder that happened with the sisterhood. Um, and, and hopefully we, we gave her some worry wart last time. So hopefully, or worries less, not worry wart. So hopefully she worries less. Cause it's, yeah, though she left, left us saying, I feel the darkness tearing at my mind. So I feel bad. I want, I hope, I hope she feels better. Um, Bethany Coleman is from the Sisterhood, and her mentor was the person murdered. We figured out it was foul play. It was poison. We don't know who did it, but it was plant poison. So um, I'm just really hoping they don't get any ideas and think it's me. But we have... Um, oh, I forgot! Oh my god! There is this whole story arc that I didn't write down in my handy dandy notebook, Mary's Breath, which we might have identified. Um, I was like, wh when are we gonna find out more about the murder? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. Figure out- I just slap myself on the chin. We're gonna get some Mary's Breath to try and bind ourselves to secrecy, find out more about what's going on. Um, Verona, an occult scholar dabbler in the, the, the occult arts. Um, also brews a lovely cup of tea. She's also getting involved with the murders. Reuben Ward, who we'll talk about in a second, has asked for her help. Um, we'll see. I, I, I don't know how much of her experience with the occult is sort of more legitimate versus just her being interested in it, so we'll see what happens there. Reuben is the one who... Oh! Last episode, if you did not see it, we came to a startling conclusion, uh, maybe not conclusion, hypothesis, that the side story we've been hearing at the end of every uh, day about this girl who discovered a horrible secret, ran away from home, had a father who turned to the alcohols and did not search for her, I think it's Reuben. So this daughter, that this woman that we've been sort of following her story we don't know who she is yet. I think it's Reuben's daughter. Um, oh, this is this is getting super interesting. And just to round out our cast of characters, we have Simone Green, who is our friend, library, fellow book nerd. Um, she's been helping us out. So far, nothing, nothing too stressful here. We helped her get some, I think, stuff for her eyes, but that was kind of it. This person, the woman in the jade mask, I'm not sure is real or a figment of our imagination, because Faye is seeing her too in Faye's visions. Mm. And we have gotten into that dread zone twice, which I, I feel bad about, because both times I was like, I, sh I think I should have figured out what, what we didn't figure out. And then our dear friend Isidore, we did not get off on the good, good right foot. Uh, got off on the left foot, where we gave him rashes and sores, and um, instead of killing him, though, we did not give him potion to kill him. We ended up giving him uh, something to just get rid of his memory. Let's give him a fresh slate. Let's start anew. Let's... <laughs> Fresh boat, I don't know what the saying is. We're gonna try and just like, just try again with Isidore. So hopefully that works out this this sunny, no, this rainy day. Now, as we dive in to this amazing UI, it's still one of my favorite just UIs I've experienced in a while. Um, we have a clue and it's good to start every day with this clue because it 
usually leads us to plant or plants that we can incorporate into our potions. So, bringing this clue up, the old man of Coniston, here let me zoom in for you, looks out across the lake with blind eyes. Okay, so a lake. His mind wanders with the current, floating gently southwards to the fork. So there's a lake with a fork. <laughs> okay, so here's a lake, lost water. Southwards, no fork. Okay, here's a lake. No, not a lake, this is more of a bay, so that doesn't work. Here we go. Southwards? No, oh, there's a fork right there. But it's kind of far from the lake. But I, I, I wouldn't put it past that. And here's a lake. And it does fork right here. But I feel like maybe this fork is might be a little bit more fruitful. His mind wanders with the current. Floating gently southwards to the fork. Let's try it. This might be, we might have to give a couple of tries for this. Oh my God, we did it. I am. <laughs> this gives me small like Outer Wilds level bits of happiness when I figure stuff out. Cause <laughs> it's always just like a little bit. I hope I'm okay. The heavens open up, O oh, seventeen. As I reach the fork, I take a moment to pause and listen to the sound of water on water. I am soaked through, but my spirits are high as I return home. I am not empty-handed. Two new plants today, hell yeah. Ooh, and they're, they're quite similar. All right, both purple, both very tall plants. One has more rounded, petals while others have more uh I don't know what the shape is it's not oval it comes to a point but you know you can see it all right so Wednesday day six I don't know how many days uh this game lasts actually which is kind of interesting I don't know what to expect I don't know if it's like one week two weeks three weeks forever is this an infinite game no, I don't think it's infinite. Um, let's do a closer inspection. Dark purple flowers. <laughs> Light purple flowers. The smell is alluring. All right, nothing I can really identify yet, so I'll just, I'll just keep that going. Let's pet the cat. And ring the bell. The postman didn't come yesterday. I didn't think. Eleanor. The insects make the salt marshes unha uninhabitable. People stay away and not much grows there, but I know where to find an unusual plant. I have drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. Why, thank you. All right, well, perfect. I love it, let's do it. Let's, I love, I love this exploration component. So it looks like there's a bit of a peninsula. This looks like it might be right here. Um, Here's the river, so it's somewhere maybe in this in this area. We might have to do a couple of trips, so let's try G3. Nope, nothing in G3, okay. So nothing in G3. I'm gonna do a bit of watering because I think I think we could get to this pretty pretty quickly. Okie dokie. Uh, Okali dokal is what I was gonna say, but it like stopped halfway through. So I, I tried that. Um, again, taking out this map. This is such a big X. You couldn't have gotten more specific. Um, we tried G3, so let's do G4. Nope, nothing there. I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> Okay, one thing I was thinking, um, she said something about marshes, I think. Oh, I don't have, I don't have her combo here. Um, but I feel like she said something about the insects in the marshes. So I think instead of going towards more the forest, I'm gonna go up here to F3, cause this seems like a marshy, um, if we go here, 
this seems like a marshy kind of um, marking on the map. So let's do F3. Nothing. Ah! Fine. Gonna keep going. This, we're gonna be, we're gonna find it. We have a map. Try, try, try again. All right, so again, let's bring this map up. I sure hope this is the right area. I, I feel like it would be. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm wrong. Because if I put this here, it's slightly larger than the, the map itself. So, and I can't like reduce this size. I can only zoom in. So I, I think this X, this is this. Yeah, it has to be maybe in this F2, F3, F4 section. Haha, -ha, here we go. The air is thick with flying, biting insects, an unbearable plague. I fight against it for mere moments before I'm overwhelmed. If only, okay, so F2 is where we want to go. If only I had some blue winter to keep them at bay. Do I have blue winter? Common, Brimlock, Butterdale. Maybe I don't have blue winter. Brimlock. I don't even have an a, a article for blue winter. There's two now that I don't have articles for. Blue winter, which I'm going to write down, and red, what was it? Um, it, it was that thing for our new tool, because we got a new tool. Red, a Abony. Red. Red. Abony. Blue winter. To get. Again, I've just been keeping this notebook updated with just very, very scrawled, not organized notes. Um, this game does a really good job of not requiring you to, to need that, but, um, it helps me keep track of things. Also, wait, let me look and see Mary's breath. We have identified Mary's breath. So let's take a quick, quick detour really fast. Um, so we'll come back to F2 because we need Blue Winter to go there. Um, but we have Mary's breath, which is going to allow us to de delve into the murder um, and what, what's been going on with the sisterhood a little bit. And so I'm going to do one more round of watering, one more quick forward <laughs> so that um, we can investigate that before helping the day's customers. All right. So, oh shucks. Where were we to visit? It was by Trover. It was J17. Is that what I wrote down? Yeah, J17, Grisdale Forest. Okay, I've already helped. No! Wait! Shoot. Did I do the Mary's Breath secrecy? I don't think I did. Oh, did I miss out by not having it then? Hold on, hold on. Let's look in our archive really fast. Wandering Blue, Grisdale Forest, nothing I've seen. No, 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 Dangerous Plant, Hateful Town, Amos, Amos also stopped writing to us for a little bit. What happened to Amos? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna write that down just so I kind of keep Amos in my mind. What happened to Amos? And then, cause I'm, I'm so bad at remembering. Did we uh, give Mary's breath to the sisterhood? I don't think we did. Let me look and see if I can recognize what Mary's breath looks like. L.M. 
Oh yeah, maybe we did, actually. I vaguely remember doing something with this. Okay, well, we'll... Let's do one more Grisdale Forest adventure just to see if we can stumble upon anything. Um... Nope, okay, cool. So, we'll, we'll put a pin in that for a second. Bethany, welcome back! I was just talking about the sisterhood. Thank you for your help and discretion earlier. The Sisterhood is grateful, but the news that Arde Arda was poisoned with Gilda Dendra has everyone worried. The temporary acting Audra is panicking. I... I probably shouldn't tell you this, but one of the sisters has gone missing. <gasps> a runaway called Thea that we took in a few years ago. I had a feeling I was like, I wonder if she ran away from Reuben to join the Sisterhood. We're trying to find her and her sister Charlotte remembered that the Jacob's Worth plant is said to help locate people, which we have. Okay, yes. Uh, let me... <laughs> let me really quickly find it. F... G... H... J... K... L... Um... Jacob's Worth, here we go. Perfect. Oh, sinkling back, okay. Solomon's Scepter also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate and sometimes Solomon's Scorn. The flowers of the plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic practices. Ooh, many small flowers grow along the stem. Now this looks very similar to this. It's got an alluring smell, um, but I think, I think this is maybe, what was it, Solomon's? Do, 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 scepter. So let's label that as a potential. Scepter. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. And let me take a quick second um, to organize the plants. Again, I have a lot of guesses down here that I want to put up on the shelf just to help keep my brain organized. Uh, but I also want these to be like kind of alphabetical, so, or at least alphabetical as I can get them. So it's gonna take a quick second, but you know, sometimes it's nice to just organize your inventory. You know what I'm saying? A little bit perhaps tedious. I find it relaxing to alphabetize. It also just helps me keep track of what we've got labeled versus what we don't. Look at this. We are so close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plants that we don't have labels for. Now, we haven't found all of the plants out there, but I think this is a pretty good track record. All right, so let's put that back, put the labels back, and bring in the next customer. Peggy! And Peggy! Skylar sisters! All right, I read about a wonderful sounding ornamental plant, but my book didn't say what it was called or where to find it. It has curled leaves and a dark blue flower. Now, Lady of Summer does fit that description. It is a beautiful plant, but I want to make sure we don't give her anything too poisonous or dangerous. Uh, highly sought after ornamental plant. All right, well, there you go. Okay, so that was just that was just me being helpful. Nice, nice, nice. Ennis Aylford. We've had our eye on you for some time now. Join us. Praise the Dendru. Seems a little cult-like. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean, praise the Dendru? I represent a group called the Seeds of Redemption. Your expertise should be very useful to us, and we have much to offer in return. Let us know we can count on you by leaving a single St. John's poppy flower outside the Sad Guild Church before Friday. Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. Praise the Dendru. Praise the Dendru! Uh, that's never a good sign. It's kind of a red flag when uh, any group is like, join us, we have so much to offer. Also, do not mess with us and don't ignore us, we'll mess with you. That seems like a little... suspicious fishy Um, okay. Well, we'll think about that peer pressure in a little bit. Um, for now, let's just keep going. Verona, welcome back! How's the occult? 
I have returned from Swinside. I must admit I was hoping for more to go on, but there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the Stone Circle. Okay. All right. And the poor victim, well, the less said about him, the better. Oh, golly. Reuben had it right, though. Grizzly. I have the beginnings of a theory, but I'd like to run some tests on the sample of the Gilded Dendra. Okay. So, I thought that maybe this plant right here originally was the Gilded Dendra. Was I correct? Might have been. It says, do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to Dendra's miasma. The poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. And it says my fingers ache from handling this plant and it has the same droop in the leaves that this sketch does. So let's give her that. I was right! I was right. Made in sorrow. Rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one finger and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering, providing a focusing effect. It's like the fidget spinner of the plant world. <laughs> the plants of this, the flowers of this plant droop mournfully, but the thorns along its stem are thought to lend its name. Oh, I think I know what that is. I think this might be the maiden sorrow. Oh, excuse me. So let's label that as a potential. Maiden's Sorrow. And let us name the Gilded Dendra. I had it originally and I removed it. I think it was the Kabalia that was confusing me. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have let it confuse me. Confuse me. Gilded Dendra. All right, so let us put this up. Uh, F G. It's by the Gandhi root. So let's shift this over. Ooh, all of our shelves are becoming chock full of plants. All right, let's bumpy bump down, bump bump. And gilded dendra, you can come up here by the Gandhi root. Perfect. Actually, let's move that over too. And let's move you up, Maiden Sorrow. A E E M A. Okay, so Mary's Breath, you'll be by Mary's Breath. M A I. Oop! Move you down too. All right, nice and organized. Dang, so we identified two plants from that. Feel success. I feel so good. Anne. My aunt died two weeks ago, and I inherited her house. I have been sifting through her possessions, and last night I found something unusual. Okay. And a uh, forgotten... Oh, excuse me again. In a forgotten corner of the attic, I found a coffin. More unusual still, it was bound by strong vines. So strong that I cannot cut through them. Uh, why would you want to? I immediately thought of your shop. You know about plants, right? You know, if something, it's like, it's like the scientists that are like, look, we found a sarcophagus in a tomb and we should crack it open. And I'm like, or you could just leave it. Or you could just let it do its thing. Cause clearly someone may put it into the effort of like sealing it forever. For whatever reason, you should just leave it sealed. Uh, same with this coffin. Why do you want to open a coffin, Anne? Anne, Anne. And just like here, let me let me whisper in your ear, Anne. Anne, Anne, stop it, stop it. <laughs> this is not the way to go. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, well, let me give you what you want. C F G H L M N O P Q R. I think this is the Royal Gensha. Okay. Elder Finium. The plants of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote to Dendro's miasma. <gasps> oh my gosh, we could have saved the Arda. Arja. Uh, that causes the blood to slowly turn black. Intoxicating scent similar to that of the Solomon Scepter. 
Okay, so this is a plant with sort of a bulb at the bottom. Pointy leaves and sort of the stem that that pops out. Now this... No, I don't think this is it. Open back up. Why Why did you close, little book? Where, what was it called? What was it called? Um, was it Made in Sorrow? No. Elder, there we go. Elder Finium. Intoxicating scent. Similar to Solomon's Scepter. What was the Solomon's Scepter? It was that purple flower. What scent was that? Uh, G. Solomon's Scepter. Sweet smelling flowers. Okay. So, we are looking for a plant that has sort of the stems that come out with a sweet smelling smell. Smells like sweet rhubarb. This doesn't have the right shape. Dark purple flowers also does not hold the right shape. Orange center, not the right center. And does not have quite the right shape of petal, even though it has a sweet scent. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have Elderfinium with us at the moment. So I'm going to avoid labeling that. And we're already at the end of the day! Holy mackerel! Okay, well, let's do a explore, because we can, and we haven't done a whole lot of exploring this time around. Um, let's go to Rustland. I don't think I've been there. I'll write it down, just in case. A church looms before me, its cold stone walls and stained glass windows seem both inviting and off-putting in equal measure. An eerie silence seemed to surround this place, but there's little else of interest. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. So we learned a little bit about the murder. We learned that there's a Ar Arja in place. Ardea. Arda? Arda, I think is what it has pronounced. An Arda temporarily in place, but they're scared. Now, we have an antidote to what... Whoever the murderer was, we have an antidote to what they used before. So we should make sure next time to actually know that we have that plant so that we can help save anyone if this is where to happen again. Five miles south of the tallest, but one, it grows in peace in the midday sun. Okay. Before she left. All right. So this may be, and I think it was Thea. Let me write her name down who I believe is the daughter of Reuben, who ran away, joined the sisterhood, but now has run away again, which does not seem very... I don't think... I don't want to accuse Thea of murder, but this is very interesting timing. Before she left, she returned to her hiding place and carefully retrieved the book, her excitement building as she did. This is before she ran away from her father, I think. She couldn't articulate what was so alluring to her about the book, but by now it had become an obsession. Okay. Mm. Day seven, Thursday. <sighs> Things are coming together. Things are coming together. I am so excited to dive more into this game, but that will be for the next video. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please do check out their Steam page. Oop. There we go. If you have been enjoying this game as well, do leave a Steam review. Um, that's always helpful to indie developers in particular. Um, it looks like lots of folks have provided an overwhelmingly positive review for this game, but whether whether yours is overwhelmingly positive or not, either way, it's helpful for the devs to know like what you think, how you experienced it, and um, yeah, it's always just a good thing to do if you want to support an indie dev, in addition to if you're interested in their game, wishlisting it. Um, it's a little indie fact for you there. Uh, that is it for today, though. Please do leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video. Um, curious what you think. Do you think Thea is the one who maybe did the murder of the Ar Ar 
I need to actually consistently pronounce this, uh, our Dia. <laughs> uh, or do you think Thea is just maybe running away at the wrong time and this is not um, indicative of her doing the murder, but maybe maybe she witnessed something or a different, a different person did the murder and she, she's running away for her safety? I don't know. What are, what are your hypotheses? Um, if you enjoyed this and you would like to see more of Kim Chica's Cafe, experience more indie games with me and the rest of the cafe regulars, do hang out in our Twitch channel and our Twitch streams as well. I stream a couple nights a week at twitch.tv slash kimchika and I play indie games there as well. And they're a different set of games than I feature here. Um, so if you are wanting to discover more, uh, Taste Test is a great night to join because it's me just playing about 30 minutes of a sampling of games. Whether Usually it's demos. I try to make it demos, but sometimes it's just 30 minutes of a game that's recently released. And I call it a flight of indies to kick off your weekend. Or if you want to do more Let's Plays, we do Let's Plays throughout uh, weeknights. And uh, those are always really fun to hang out and in live time experience the trials and tribulations of figuring out puzzles and, and having experience experiences together. But yeah, that's it. So I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, that you are finding lots of indie games to enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!